Hey everyone, this is Jalaris of Jalaris Studios, and if you watched the last video, then you'll know that my playthrough with the Kestrel, this ship, it didn't end so well. I ended up dying partway through. So I think I'm going to give it another shot, but this time I'm going to use a different ship. I figure that every time I either beat the game or die, which is far more likely, I'll try it out with a different ship. For this one, I think I'm going to try the Taurus, the second ship you unlock. I'm probably going to try out some of these other ships. Well, I will try them out later on. But um, for this one, I'm going to go with the Taurus, and I'm going to be using the normal layout. I could go with a second layout, but I'm not going to start with that. First off, i got to rename the captain to be more in line with my character. Captain Jalaris. Fits. And uh, if you guys want me to rename the ship at all, just say so in the comments. For this one, I only have an ion blast for an actual weapon, and dr I have a drone system right off with a combat drone Mark I. Let's hope that uh, is able to get me through. I also have two NG to help crew it. NG are... Uh, it's unclear if they're either partly organic or entirely mechanical, but it's well known they make excellent engineers. They're a lot, they're twice as fast at repairing things, but they can only at attack half as well as everyone else. So, yeah, try not to let people teleport on. Anyway, I'm still playing with Advanced Edition content enabled. Gonna play it on easy, considering I didn't play, beat the game while I was before well I was uneasy so I'm not gonna be trying a harder level for a while this also has NG medbot dispersal it means that you get healed on the ship no matter where you are if the med bay has power to it not as effective as being in the med bay but still so uh, without further ado let's start the uh, data I carry is vital to the Federation fleet so I need to get to the uh, other end of the galaxy. I start off with 30 scrap. Let's see what's in store. Could go to the store, but I only have 30 scrap, so I'm not heading there. Uh, but apparently I have to, since there's no way uh, to anywhere else from this position. So, okay, here we go. Also, right off, we don't have any missiles, which makes sense, considering we don't have a missile weapon system. A transmission from a nearby planet indicates an outpost below, which offers supplies to travelers. She sent down an away party to check it out. Okay. Nothing here much. A couple of crew members to hire. Uh, mind control, but uh, no scrap. Not enough scrap, rather. Cloning bay, backup battery. Oh, uh, weapons. Ion stunner. Could cause... Uh, that can disable systems without causing hull damage. Well, I could get another ion blaster. Mm, that's tempting. But it costs a heck load of... Oh wait, it doesn't actually cost that much power. Hmm. I actually think I will get that one. But I'm going to need to put more power to weapons later on. But anyway... Let's jump. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you and your ship. Uh, I'm going to demand surrender of their goods. You prepare to secure their cargo by force. Looks like they don't want to fight. They're trying to escape. Not on my watch. First I'm going to start off the drone and then my ion blaster. Going to try and... Oh great. What do you know? Enemies on board. I'm going to shoot their engines first. And I'm going to redirect you two to go and fight them off. Actually, I just need Jalar since we have the MIDI bot dispersal. Keep the uh, ion cannons going. There is an option to automate your weapons so they keep firing at the same target, but I don't um, want to do that quite yet. It's right here, called Auto Fire. Oh great, they actually did manage to hit me. And looks like they're pretty evenly matched as far as fighting goes. 
Just keep on firing. Keep okay, good. He's gone. You um, go and get back to the captain's seat. And there they go. Let's see what goodies they have on board the ship. The ship was apparently transporting weaponry, however, nothing seems to have survived the battle. Well, that's just great. Uh, you, engine boy, go and, go and repair the doors. Uh, what's your name? Matt. Oh, Matt. Uh, nice name for a robot, or semi-robot, whatever you are. Alright, you're good. Back to the um, engines. Uh, Jolaris, how you looking? Uh, you're getting health back. That's good. Alright, how much does it cost to upgrade the weapons? Uh, 35, more than I have. But, um... Jolaris is almost... Okay, Jolaris is good. Let's keep on trucking. Or trekking. Heh, <laughs> trekking. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Sensors indicate it's a storage vessel for military goods. Uh, I could attack the automated ship to get the storage cache or avoid provoking it. I'm going to attack it, because that's half the fun in this game. And they have drones. Uh, do, they, do they have drones? Anyway. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I, I get it. It disables my systems. Okay, we'll fire. Fire away. Oh, good. He shot the weapons system first. That helps me a great deal. And apparently it only takes away one bar of power. Or, no, wait. No, whatever. I win. You salvage which came from the broken ship. I'm going to investigate the station. Station is a storage site for various resources. You salvage everything possible. Okay, that's reasonable. Now I can upgrade the weapon system. So now I can have two ion blasters going at the same time. One's less powerful than the other, but still. Hmm. I'm going to put the other power I have... Oh, wait. Hmm. I'm going to have to take power out of somewhere to power the combat drone. But, um... Anyway. Let's get a move on. An especially well-armed pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members, and the rest of you can go free unharmed. <laughs> I could draw straws and send a crew member over to the slavers, or refuse. And I am going to most certainly refuse. Oh, great. They have a drone. Uh, I'll take it out of the, um... Med bay. Combat drone, do your thing. Let's see. Oh, great. Well, at least they didn't hit any of the, uh... Oh, come on, hit them somewhere where, it, where it's meaningful. Okay, you sh you fire there, and you you fire there. All right, good. Hopefully, this is enough to keep them down for the rest of the fight. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. Destroy us, they'll die anyway. Oh, I could save some one person, or... So, hmm. I think I need another crew member, so I'm gonna accept that. Alright, Raffin, uh, welcome to the crew. Gert, you are now the new shield, uh, master. Is there... Huh. Okay. Distress signal. Bit out of the way, but I'll investigate. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. Must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. I could try and dislodge the ship by shooting at the rocks or destroy and loot the ship. They're just pirates. I'm going to dislodge it. You fire a few volleys into the rock and it starts the shutter, breaking apart without without shields. The pirate ship takes a beating but eventually pulls free. They thank you for your assistance. Okay, that worked out nicely. I'm going to get another power bar. Okay, and I keep going here because as much as possible you want to avoid going to the same system unless you absolutely have to. And there is nothing here, but I didn't know that, so it's best to just get as much scrap as you can. You can only do that by going to new places and fighting other people. The only other ship with this beacon messages you. Finally, after months of waiting, someone has fallen into our trap. Oh, well, that's just Peachy Partner. And they have a missile system. Lovely. I'm going to have to... 
train to gather weapon systems as fast as possible. Oh, oh come on. Uh-oh. Oh, this is in heavy any of my, uh, important systems. She repeatedly hails you. Looks like they want to surrender. No surrender for you. Sorry, but, um... No surrender. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of... Yeah, you, you know the drill. A rebel ship was guarding the beacon. You order a pursuit course and prepare to scratch up one more. You bet. I'll put the other power that I have left into the engines, because that increases my dodge chance. I need to start upgrading my shields. And this is starting to look way too close for comfort. Yaya blasts do come in handy though. It keeps everything disabled while my drone can pick it apart. The enemy appears to be powering up its FTL, it's trying to escape. Well, their uh, pilot system is knocked out completely, so it won't be going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, but their laser is still up. Yeah, I need better li better um shields. And put that power to shields. Well, I'm gonna have to take power out of somewhere. Unless I get some more. But anyway, put over here. Scanners are showing intelligent life forms on the nearby planet. No match for them can be found in the database. Let's go and investigate. I land a small shuttle in an enormous field where the only occupants are small, brightly colored, six-legged, horse-like animals. Could they be what your scans picked up? Wait. Horse-like animals. <laughs> try to communicate. I could communi try to communicate peacefully or bring some creatures on board to sell. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to bring them aboard to sell because... It is there anything like any or horse creatures I'm thinking of, then they might actually be able to fight us off pretty well. None of your attempts to communicate seem to work, they just stare at you silently. As you prepare to leave, one of the creatures canters to forward and forcefully nudges you away from the ship. He seems to want you to follow him. Eventually they guide you to an old NG crash site. Inside you are able to find a react and reactivate an NG. Oh nice! I got a new crew member named on Oni. I don't really know where you need to go, Oni. But, uh, hey, those ponies who are really friendly, if you get what I mean. Well, I wonder if they're magical. Is <laughs> uh, there magic to try and get our friend? <laughs> oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, better jump to the exit. You've arrived at the long range beacon. Yeah. You receive a message from a small refugee convoy. Hail, we'd like to help you on our mission, but we don't have much to offer. If you extra have extra metal, perhaps we could work on your ship. What's your specialty? You have to offer to upgrade your oxygen systems and exchange for some scrap. Well, heck yeah. Uh, you let your, their team aboard, and after a short time, they finish their work. Okay, my oxygen system has gotten an upgrade. For cheap. Right on to the next sector. I could go to an untreaded nebula or a rebel controlled sector. Well, nebulas, they have dangers all themselves because they can knock out your power systems or have a bunch of people hiding, but rebel controlled sectors, uh, yeah, rebels are there. However, nebulas slow down the rebels, I think. So, we're heading off in that direction. You've entered a nebula rich sector. You may put a few light years on the fleet, but that's only useful if you make it out the other side. Good knowledge. Also, my sensors don't seem to be working. Oh, distress signal. Uh, there's one pretty big nebula. 
Let's see who needs help. You've encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Its distress beacon is active. You're not sure anyone's on board. Let's hail them. The vessel is relieved to hear from you. They're running low on supplies and they suggest a trade. I can gain eight fuel and they need one drone. Hmm. Sure. I uh, have plenty of drones, though I probably will need them. They only, um, they only want one. So I just got eight fuel for one drone. Let's hop back into the nebula. The drone isn't looking for you. Perhaps it's gotten ahead for the rebel expansion, or maybe they're seeking to use this nebula for cover. Regardless, it identifies you as hostile. Well, it's just peachy. All right. Draw power from somewhere. Hmm. I don't really need the, uh, that ion blast for this fight. I have to target their weapons first, since they don't um, have any shields to speak of. Oh, come on. Two misses? Ah. Uh oh. Oh. Huh. Oh, they missed. The missile missed. What good fortune before my ship today? Maybe it's part of the Imperial Navy from Star Wars. You know, those guys can never shoot straight. Oh, they're part of the Rebels, so I guess that doesn't work. I need more power bars. That sounds like a... That sounds like a commercial or something. I need more power bars. Buy space power bars. FTL brand. 